on our way to do an errand, Frugal Daddy cannot pass by our neighbor's trash. He can't pass by anybody's trash, which is fine because we've actually just pulled some stuff out of the trash, like what? Not lawn chairs? No, they're broken. That's um, a bit. Okay, but there's other stuff. That dresser actually doesn't look that bad, but we don't need it, and it's heavy. Cute Christmas tree uh, stand we could donate. It doesn't look bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know if we need. It. I think we do. I don't. I. I don't want it to just get thrown away. Daddy's already been packing the back of the car. We have this cute little dollhouse. It's filthy, but I can sponge it down with some, you know, soap and water and hose it off in the yard. At least for a donation, you know. You know what I'm saying? I think you do know what I'm saying. We got one of these red and green things that people use to store their Christmas wrapping and ribbons. I need them for under the bed storage of any number of things. I have a different system for my Christmas wrapping paper, but I need under the bed storage boxes. No idea what that is. Daddy says those won't last long. Water skis. Um, yeah, not for us, of course, but. I don't really want them. No, well, we don't water ski. Okay. I took some stuff. You did. What about this bucket? That's a good bucket. I need a bucket. There's two buckets there. I need a bucket because. Oh my God, there's Roundup. Not I don't like, like Roundup. No, you don't. Dwayne's all about poisoning the earth to kill weeds, and I'm all about pulling weeds and not putting horrible chemicals everywhere. And um, we have discord over this issue. Uh, I need that bucket because he has a bunch of very dingy white dress shirts and he wants me to work magic on them and make them bright, white, and beautiful. And I don't really know what to do with them other than to just soak them in a bucket of bleach for a whole bunch of days and then run them through the machine. I don't know, but that's what I'm going to do with that bucket. Two buckets. Excellent if we want to do tie-dyeing as well. I don't even know what this stuff is. And well, we're going to find out when we get home. And the, uh, the, um, the thing, the hammock. You wanted oh, right, right, right. Wooden, the wooden, the wooden, wooden pieces, right. yes. This looks like they're really clearing out the whole house. Have you ever even gone water skiing before? Yes, I have. Were you good at it? Like a pack on. Didn't fall. Didn't fall? I got up the first time ever. Did you get up the first time, the first go around? Yes. I don't believe that. I was 16 years old. You were 16 years old? I was like 28. I can't barely swim, and I got up the first time. You know what these? No. I was young and strong, is my point. We can donate them if you want, but obviously we're not going to go water skiing at this. I almost said water skating. See? Water That's how athletic I am. That's how sporty. We ain't going water skating. Do you want to donate them? Sure, we can donate this them. The, the vets are coming in three, four days. Slalom. They're slalom skis. I don't even know what that means. Slalom is a uh, single ski. Oh. So you kick this one off and you put your other foot here. Well, why would you do that? Then you just leave one behind. They'll pick it up at once. That's, that's you take a picture silly. It? It's just silly. I think somebody needs to come by and haul that dresser away. The drawers are around here somewhere. It is cute. Yeah. It looks very sturdy. It looks solid. Yeah. And that little blue piece behind it is cute too, but we don't need it and other people might need it and we're leaving it for the other people. No, I was talking about the regular dresser. I mean, I, 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 I don't want it, but... Okay, onward and upward. I just want to mention, he told me this errand would take two minutes. And I said, no, it won't. I know that it won't. And he said, literally two minutes. Okay, it, it took us longer than two minutes to get lost in our own neighborhood digging through other people's trash. He sees a wheelbarrow and he cannot pass it up. There's no passing up a wheelbarrow for this frugal daddy. Looks like you have an axle issue there. Yeah, it came loose. The axle of evil. You know I was going to say axis before I said uh, axle. I need, to, I need to hit some hits. You need to do what? My cell phone. I need to hit it with something. Hit it with your head. I mean, you didn't bring a hammer in your pocket or a rubber right. mallet? Fixed. You fixed it? Aye, aye, aye. It's got a Krakatoa in the, in the gray part, the yeah. barrel part. I have a metal I have a metal one. So you just want the bottom, is what you're saying? I want the frame and the wheel. Yeah. 
How's it gonna fit with all the other junk you already piled into the back of the car? All right, well, how far up are the plants? Couple how far houses. up? Couple houses. All right, Frugal Daddy said there are plants being thrown away a couple houses up, so I'm gonna go look at those. And an umbrella. And an umbrella. Big umbrella or little umbrella? Yeah, big. Big. The plants lining the people's driveway are not being thrown away, if that's what he's talking about. It's ridiculous. But there is some interesting stuff over here. People do throw away the most interesting things. Obviously, it was some kind of storage unit at some juncture. Some kind of light fixture. What is that? Wait. Wait, wait. wait. Oh, maybe these are the plants he was talking about. Though how he could see them through a truck and a tree and a light pole, I don't know. But there's the umbrella. Oh, their garbage spilled over. Okay, well, there are no plants. It's a plant hanging pot type device, but there's no plant in there. And then there is the umbrella. Yes, their garbage fell over. And of course, I have to pick it up and be a helpful Samaritan. That's a nice house. Okay, hold on, hold on. Alrighty. I have righted the wrong of the toppled garbage can, and I have an armful of patio umbrella. <clears throat> My glasses are falling off to drag back to Frugal Daddy. There he's got the wheelbarrow on top of the car. Not the first time we've had a wheelbarrow on top of our car. Not the second, not even the third. Probably the tenth time. All right, do you want this umbrella? Is it okay? I don't know. You can take it out of my arms and tell me. There were no, there were no plants in the pot. Aww. All right. If you don't want the umbrella, we'll just donate it. As I said, the vets are coming four days hence. I have it scheduled so the vets are coming n at minimum once a week for the next month and a half. Sometimes more than once a week. with a wheelbarrow around. I know. One time we were at a swim club in Princeton meeting some friends and and as we sat down to chat with them, they said, oh, did you see that car in the parking lot with a wheelbarrow on top? And we said, yeah, that's our car. I don't think it's that abnormal to drive around with a wheelbarrow on top of your car, especially if you're in the process of moving and you're transporting all your junk from your old house to your new house. I don't find it abnormal in the least. What are you doing? Waiting for, oh, you're filming me? Yeah. Did you want a toaster oven? For yes, you? Oh, I did want a toaster oven. Yes, I did. Our old one broke and I used to use it all the time. Black and chrome. Black and chrome. Looking good. Probably needs to be cleaned out a little bit, as they tend to be. I hope it's not broken. No. I, I guess we'll find out. I think it looks good. Okay. You think? Right, you sense up. it? You sense? I sense it. He senses that it works. We're never going to get our errand done. All right, that was a few days ago. It's taken me a while to get to this one to edit. So some of those things have already gone off to the vets for their donation. But I think we still have a few things laying around the yard. So let's take a look. There's the hammock, in case anybody wants to take a nap right up with the laundry that's hanging to dry. Here's the little dollhouse. I think it's quite cute. There's the green and red plastic storage bin for sliding under the bed. It's been power washed. There's my garden looking kind of overgrown. And Frugal Daddy thinks it's a good idea to take all these bicycles he's found and just lean them against my little garden fence. He thinks that's a good idea. I keep saying we need to get rid of these bicycles and he keeps saying he wants them for parts. So while we're here, we'll do a quick garden update. I got some tomatoes growing. See, look right there. I gotta get in there and pick them. My zucchinis just died completely. The plants just died. Now here I planted some really late in the season cucumbers and you can see the little yellow flowers for them. Kind of feel like we need to do some watering over here. And look, look here, look here. I got a little cucumber growing. Isn't that cute? The answer is yes, it's a cute little cucumber. It's adorable. And there we go, there are a couple more tomatoes I can get in there and pick. All right, onward. And there is the umbrella. 
Super cool, huh? There's our little table and there's our little dog. You like that umbrella, Dharma? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Well, thanks for watching our little curbside junk collecting escapade. I hope it was as much fun for you as it was for us. If you haven't already clicked the subscribe, well, please click that subscribe button. Ring that bell. Give us a thumbs up. Share on social media. Leave your comments below and follow us on Instagram at Freakin' Frugal Dumpster Diving. See you next time. Bye. You need help? Yes. Your foot's stuck? Yes, and I can't get on. I feel like I'm going to fall. Uh -huh. Okay, push me. Oh, 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 Push me. You need to learn to balance. I need to stretch a bit. Do you like it better than the other kind because the sides don't wrap up around you? I like it. Oh. Ah! <laughs> that's what I don't Are you okay? Like. Yes, that's what I don't like about it. Yeah. Well, it'll get it'll get saggier and it won't do that. <laughs> Alright. You wanna go in the pool for a dip? On this hot, hot day? You're just not going to give up, are you? Ah, come on. Come on. Let's work with me here. I'm on, I'm on. I'm not sure your leg's supposed to go through the hole quite like that. <laughs> Is that comfortable? No. Does it look comfy? I don't know. Oh, oh. How would I know what's comfortable for you? <laughs> no. Help me. All right, no. now X, lift up your foot. <laughs> lift it up to the sky. Pull your knee. There you go. How do I get off? I think getting off is a lot easier than getting on. There you go.